Hello everyone, welcome to A Monster's Expedition, subtitled Through Puzzling Exhibitions. This is a puzzle game that came out on Steam a couple days ago. Um, it's about 20 bucks, I think. So it's on sale for a week or so, so you can get it a bit cheaper if you act now. I don't know much about it except for looking at the screenshots, and I, I wishlisted it a while ago, so it must have looked interesting to me then. And it's by a developer who's put out some other good puzzle games, so I'm, I'm willing to give it a try. Judging by the menu UI, I bet it has a mobile port as well, so you could probably try it there, but no guarantees. Um, and I'm told it's, or the menu made me believe it's a keyboard friendly game. Right, yeah, you, you have to click a button to make the mouse, you have to change the setting to make the mouse do anything. Alright, so we knocked over a tree, and a log fell out, and we jumped over. Cool. Well, we can't jump on these, we can't push them, so this is apparently forced. Now we could do that. But, yeah, I can't get it. I'm not, all right, I'm not allowed in the water. So this is teaching me you kind of have to do it that way. Oh, interesting. You can't jump. You can't hop on a log except lengthwise. Good to know. So what is this all about? Oh, this is a little bit loud. I, uh... I did my level checking on the menu where there were just quiet waves, and I thought that was how quiet everything was going to be. Uh, let me turn it down even a little bit more. Alright. Should still be able to hear it, uh, but I, I can't tell for sure, so sorry if you can't. Okay, so we have undo is Z, makes sense, and R, reset. Yep, shift. Okay. Oh. Museum for humans, scale model. Humans preferred their museums to be indoors. This initially seemed baffling to monsters, especially given the amount of dusting we avoid by keeping objects outside. Experts have recently suggested that keeping objects indoors may have been part of England Land's efforts to hide and store museums' collections of stolen property. Okay. This is just another big, like, rock. Alright, I clearly want to go to the right, and so I probably want to knock this tree over. But I think it matters whether I knock it to the right or up, because I want it to be... Well, now it's all quiet again. Although maybe that was just me adjusting my own personal volume, which, anyway. Uh, we want it to be vertical by the time it gets to this row. And I guess we could maybe adjust it afterwards, but it seems simple. Ah! It seems simplest to just knock it down facing the right way, so. If we want it to be horizontal when it gets here, it should be. Oh, I can just. Right, I don't have to. I was imagining that I would have to do something like. I could do something like this. Oh, but I see. I can't even... Anyway, like... Oh! It goes very far when you push it. I thought I could push it one at a time. Well, I'm glad I learned that. Now it's very clear which way we have to knock it over. This way. So we can do this. I think. Is it going to be... Yeah, it'll be oriented right when it gets there. Okay, so we need to use this rock as a stopper for it, I suppose. And then... We want to go up north, and it's going to be oriented right. Okay. More to read? Yes. Humans like to put objects on boxes called plinths. At first, monster experts didn't know why, or monster experts. They're not experts on monsters. They're monsters who are experts. But then strangers kept thinking the plinthless exhibits were lost property and handing them in at the help desk. It turns out plinths are very important. Okay. Uh, if we push this to the right, we can never get it back. If we push it up, that sounds pretty good. If we push it left, we'll be pretty sad, so let's not do that. Alright, simple enough. What? Why am I not... Oh, it's facing the wrong way. Okay, so I need to do it like this. Oh! Oh! I see, so they're teaching me that you don't have to have it lengthwise when it rolls in. If you put it down on its end, it still tips over. Okay. Now we can go one of two ways. How nice. Well, this way looks pretty easy. Let's go there first. 
This isn't a human object, but we've won a Monster Travel Award for this museum. Look, there's a trophy too, except we sort of knocked it over and now there's a bit missing, so it's in the mending cupboard at head office. But the certificate is great. Alright, uh, I should be able to do that and roll it in like so. Oh right, I can't hop on that way. Uh, is this a... For some reason it looked to me like there was a, a rock above the tree stuff, but there's not. Well, okay, I could knock it over this way. Is that good? It seems possible that I might want to go like this. Actually, what happens if I do this? It does go back on top of the tree, good to know. Anyway, having done that, this seems good. Uh, and the only way I can go from here is north. How do I get the tree to let me do that? I must be knocking it over this way so I can roll it here. And then? This is kind of the only next step that makes any sense. Yeah. Humans from England land loved to queue. We don't know exactly why, but expert monsters speculate that standing outside for long periods of time is why these humans developed such a close interest in what the weather was doing. Okay, yeah, well. Now, I can go north with this. I could also have gotten here from the east, but it looks like I can't go east from here. So what if I try to go back and just see if I can approach this from the other direction? Oops. I guess I need to do it differently. There we go. And this, hmm. Ah, I see. Yeah, I can't get over here, but I guess I'm going to go south from somewhere. The only thing I can do with this is go that way, I believe. Oh, it's an object. A human backpack. Human backpacks look a lot like monster backpacks, but if you open one up, you can see that they are exactly as big on the inside as they seem from the outside, implying humans never quite mastered basic dimensional design theory. Okay. Uh... Is this what I want? Doesn't seem like quite what I want. I think I want it to go this way. Ah, uh, but then I can't. Yeah, I can't roll it north at all. So it must be that I. It must be that I do start this way, and then this, and then something good is going to happen soon, hopefully. Not sure exactly what, but that ain't it. And if I push it the other way, yeah, that. Well. This isn't really helping. Although, what if I did this? Now I can't get to the south side of it. Ah, what if I knock it up there? No, this is where I started, dummy. So this is, I, I'm, there must be something about parody going on here. Like right now, obviously it's at the wrong parity uh, in both dimensions, I think. Uh, what what can I do that lets me change the parity? I'm not sure. Okay, I can't push it on that. I don't really want to do this. Oh, somehow I did change its parity because, of course, before it was straight up on this. How did I do that? I guess by rolling it here, I moved it an odd number of spaces without flipping its orientation, I see. So is there another way I could do that? As we discovered, this is kind of the only possible, is, is it the only kind of possible first step? What if I did this? Right, this is just dead. I can't move it in any direction anymore. So you have to start here. And after that, this is no good. This is no good, so this is the only possible second step. And now it's here. And already, we've flipped its polarity. 
What if I try to kick it like that? Okay, the, the same thing as if it weren't on the tree stump. So the tree stump no longer matters. I mean, that's just useless. Huh. I kind of want to, like, roll it into this thing, but then I can't get to the south of it. If I could, I'd be... I'd be golden, right? No, I wouldn't really have solved anything. Why is that? I don't know. Anyway, let's go back the other way, I guess. The way for bad players like me. Whoa! I went into... a fast travel? I guess? Yeah, that must be what this is. I can fast travel, but I've only unlocked one fast travel location so far. Okay. This is the only possible first move, and then this. Okay, bumping it into a tree doesn't do anything. Uh, I can do this. I'm not sure I want to. The other possible move would be this. That's, okay, you can't like climb on it when it's okay. But, oh, but you can do that. Doesn't seem very useful though. Well, it lets me do that. This thing's stuck now though. What happens if this is in the water and I roll this like so? All right, it just rolls all the way off. Not what I want, but, well, I don't know. Maybe it could be useful somehow, but let's go this way for now. Holidaying humans liked to send pictures they didn't take to people they didn't like, claiming that they wished those other humans were present. Do not put this exhibit in the monster post. Replica holiday lies are available in the gift shop. Okay. Um, so going this way is a little interesting, isn't it? How exactly are we supposed to do that? I guess we have to start like this. But then I can't just hop over. Okay. I have to line two of them up to get out. Fair enough. Uh, pushing this west is useless because I can't go anywhere with it, so let's push it east. And then the only possible move is this, followed by a bunch of this. Whoa! Excuse me? Oh, I see. I expected it to roll over and, and open up... Uh, can you see my mouse? Yeah. I expected it to open up this space, but instead it made the raft double wide and I can go this way, which has the same effect on this level, but will probably matter on later levels. Okay, so I want to go south from here somehow. Which tree do I knock over first? I don't think it matters, right? Either way, I just build the same raft. This is another human museum magic trick. If you put little metal poles around an exhibit, visitors will still get too close and prod it, but if you connect them with velvet ropes, an invisible wall pops up and the exhibits are safe. Sure. Let's continue onward on our quest to understand humans. Uh, we need a raft. How exactly do I get one? I can either go south of the tree or west of it, but... Depends on what I can do with this tree. And I guess pushing it that way is pretty bad because it can never go anywhere, right? So it must be this way. But then it also can't go anywhere. Uh-oh. Well, oh, it can go like that, silly. And then? Yeah, I'll just push them both there. The 
The most recent human museum trick that monster experts had discovered is plaques. Any information on a plaque felt truthier to humans, even if it was just a guess. Researchers are still trying to determine if the same is true for monsters. I gotta say, that plaque looks like a band-aid. Just FYI. Okay, well this is the only possible first move. I must be forming a raft over here. And the only thing I can do with this is... Well, I could kick it to the west now, and yeah, that seems fine, because I'll put this one up to join it, right? Sure. Now, the only way to go north must be starting like this. Whoa! I learned about rafts! Oh my goodness. So you have to have something to push off of, and then it... Oh, we got a credit screen! Or not credits, that's kind of an intro, splash screen? I don't know what to call this. That's cute. They tricked me, that wasn't what I thought I was doing. So I cannot go that way. I have locked it. Okay, well this looks like a good start. And we kind of have to do... This. Hmm. Now, where do we want to get to? I guess we want to get a raft here. I like that you can just kind of sit down and relax. Um, we want, if we want to get a raft there, that seems rather difficult. Because, oh, I see. We could put a raft there instead and then uh, no, because I can't do anything with it. Okay. Put the tree back, please. Uh, knock it down this way. I can't push off the tree trunk. I wanted to push off the tree trunk. Ugh. Okay. Um, well, what if I did this? Now I'd have something to push off of if I got a raft there. So do it this way, I suppose. There we go. What's this? Human storage rack. Sure, that's what that is. The hooked protrusions on this wall suggest it performed a similar function to the familiar human coat rack, but instead of collecting coats, it allowed users to store multiple humans without them getting crumpled or wrinkled. It's a, a rack for storing humans, not a rack for humans to store things. Okay. That is a flamingo uh, flotation toy, I guess. Um, I guess I'm putting a raft over here? Like that, and then, well, not that. Actually, how do I do this? Oh, just like that, silly. Not much is known about the, how this species of buoyant plastic waterfowl evolved in England land. Our best guess is that the traditional feathered flamingos got fed up with standing on one leg and decided to adopt extreme flotation, spelled flotation wrong, techniques instead. Uh, I don't have enough trees to make a, a raft here, so I guess I'm going the other way. Oh, but that doesn't work. So, probably do it like this then. Oh, it's fast travel, so we can go back now if we want, right? Let's just confirm that. Zoom in and zoom out. Okay. Mouse wheel also works, but you can't use the mouse to do anything else, so. Alright. Well, it's been a kind of short video, but I think we've made a lot of progress on finding our first safe travel, uh, fast travel destination seems like a reasonable place to end the video. And I'll be back next time with more.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.